Hey, Master Tarper makes, makes mistakes too. Fuck. A couple bungees popped off somewhere. I had to pull over ASAP. Damn, let's get this thing fixed. We got it straightened out. Had to add a couple more bungees. Woo! I ain't seen y'all in about two weeks, man. Been busy. If I didn't tell you, right now, I just crossed the uh, Alabama border. Well, I crossed the belt, Alabama border into Mississippi. I'm headed to Batesville. So, Batesville. Batesville. Drop in Batesville. Then I got to head to Arkansas. Get a load from Arkansas. Take to New York. So, we got a little ride. Flatbed game. Mississippi. I got two aluminum coils up here. I picked this load up in uh, Bustle Shoals, Alabama. I think that place is called Connor Stallion. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. Connor Stallion. I got there last night. About, I got there about six, probably about six o'clock when I got there last night. Y'all know what time I got loaded? In a quarter mile, turn left on MS-35. My GPS all late, so I'm gonna turn left on MS-35. I was already making the lift. <laughs> yeah, I got to that place about, about six o'clock, checked in. I didn't get loaded until about 10.30 last night. When I got there, man, I probably had about probably about 15 trucks in front of me when I got there. And then when I when it was time for me to get loaded, I don't know if y'all remember. I said something about it a while back on one of my videos about those uh, Conestego trailers. Like those, like those, like those guys sit there for like four or five hours just sit there. Then at the last minute, they want to uh, pull the thing back. I never understood why they do that. Because two two drivers that was in front left of me, they got turned. Left ahead. They, in a they, half mile, turn left on Crown Drive and then approaching destination on the left side in yeah. 760 feet. Somebody dropped the tarp. Y'all see it in the road? Yeah, I had two trucks got turned around. They had to, they had to go uh, pull back out the bay. And go um, get the get the trailer ready. Where's this place at? It's on the left. I don't see an entrance. It's got to be it right here. This big yellow building. Yeah, why do y'all do that, man? In 700 feet, turn left on Crown Drive and then approaching destination on the left side in 760 feet. Here we go. This is it. Yeah, man. Why y'all guys do that, man? Y'all know you gotta pull the damn thing back. Why wait till the last minute? <laughs> Here we go. Crown cork. Crown cork and seal. Let's find out where the trucks go. Turn right here. 
I see these trucks, these dry vans. Yeah, I don't see no flat beds. That could be a good thing. Oh, that. Hey, if I don't see no flat beds, it could be good. Maybe I'm the first one here. Maybe. Maybe they unload me outside. You have arrived at your destination. On the left side, 195, Crown Drive. Appreciate that. See that flatbed game? Hey, flatbed driver. They already know what's up. He told me to pull to this side. Yeah, they might. They might unload me outside, man. All I, all, I, all I need is a. Oh, okay. I see a door to my left, but we'll go check in first, then see what's up. Hold on, this driver backing up. He about to tell me again. Right there. All right. Hey, that's a helpful man right there. Hey, no, this is not a camera trick. I'm actually driving in reverse. I gotta pull up alongside the building. But I go ahead and take the tarp off. That's what it just told me. Let's get this tarp off. Bungies just magically took themselves off. Oh man. See the wind. Already see. Hey, somebody asked me on Instagram. They asked me, did I cross the straps on those coils? I think those coils are, I think they're 20, 24,000 pounds a piece. I got five straps on each one. The three in the middle are going straight across. Matter of fact, I'll show you. Like three right here. These three are going straight. This one is crossing, this one is crossing to the rear. Same on this one. These three straight across, these are like X on top. I don't know, you, you might can't tell from looking at it from the side. I like my pretty NST talk. I got two of them.
Hey, who was that that asked me that question yesterday on, on YouTube? Asked me what do I use to roll my straps up with? Voila, strap roller. About to roll them up right now. Tarp is folded, already on the trailer. Only thing I do now, wait for this guy to pull me in. See how these straps tangled up? That guy that was driving that yard truck a while ago, he told me they won't break. He was like, they'd be back in 15 minutes. Hell, it's been more than 15 minutes. I ain't seen nobody yet. So they should be coming any minute. Only thing I got left to do is get these straps rolled up. And they can go ahead and pull me in. One time I lost my strap roller and I had to buy another one. But until I bought it, I had to do like three loads before I made it to a loves to get another one. It's a lot of noise, fellas. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. We'll get back later. All sitting all pretty, ready to be unloaded. Y'all know something crazy, man. It's starting to rain, that's why I got out real quick. They got them wrapped in plastic, so I guess it'll be all right. But I had to tarp these last night in the rain. And now, the guy told me to untarp it right here. So I mean, hell, he told me to untarp it, so if they get wet, it's on him. But I tarped it in the rain. And I untarped it in the rain. Ain't that how it goes? I'm just ready for them to come get me. I got a two hour ride to get to Arkansas. I can't remember the name of the little town I'm going to. Yeah, they need to tighten up. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Yeah, that's... That's where they go. That's where they go right there. That's where these damn things go. Hey, a lot of y'all drivers, y'all y'all like to collect shit. Y'all keep y'all hold on to all that shit. Oh well. If y'all wonder why I threw it right there on the ground, <laughs> that's where the damn guy told me to throw it at. That's it, the road, man. I know where we're going too. Put the address back. I already got the address saved. History. I already got it saved. 117 miles. Got an alternate route. 149 miles. Which one we going to take? Any, many, money, mo, grabber, flatbed driver, bias, tow, iffy, holler, let them go. Hell yeah. If you holler, let them go. Flat bed game. Let's get it, baby. In 0.2 miles, turn right on MS35. In 0.2 miles, turn left on AR198. Left curve ahead. Left curve ahead. Left curve ahead. Made it to Arkansas. You see all this open, open land out here? Looks like a down. Tornado waiting to happen. What it look like. What up, PNS? How's it going, buddy? 
always good to see my brother, my brothers in arms. PNS. I don't know about them Blair guys. The Blair guys, they always got some attitudes. I guess because they got their own trailer. They feel like they're better than us. Oh well. Hey man, what's going on with these Blair trucks, man? They used to have a, uh, a big, a big black B on them, with a, like a like a design, and it say Blair. But like now, I've been seeing these Blair trucks just got black. Approaching destination in two miles on the right side. All right, right yes. curb ahead. Yeah, these Blair trucks just been having Blair wrote up there, like some little tiny letters. I don't know. Hey, is that, is that another way it, it could cost save on the paint? Cause like you can't even tell it's a Blair truck unless you ride up on it. It's, it's still like a white Freightliner. This might be one right here. Yeah, that was one. But he had the red. He had the rear Blair on his red Blair, like the design. I seen. Uh, I just seen another one. I was coming down on uh, 55. I think that's what that was. He just had the Blair wrote up it like, like somebody took a stencil and filled it in with a black marker. Ain't no space on this road. Look how tight the squeeze is. This truck coming up on me. Look how tight it is. Pretty tight. No room for error. I got five hours, 19 minutes on my uh, on my clock right now. 14 hour clock. I might I might have about an uh, hour, about an hour to spare on it before it completely before it starts getting away of my drive clock. This load doesn't deliver till Friday from eight. I think I got a window from eight to three. New York, South Carolina. So I'm going to try to get a head start on that today. Knock out. Maybe if I can knock out 100 miles, maybe that'll maybe that'll be good. Then uh, tomorrow, I'll be in North Carolina. Hopefully. Not sure how long, uh, not, sure, not sure how long I'll be in this place. All depends on uh, how many trucks I got in front of me. Speed limit reduced ahead. Approaching destination in 0.2 miles on the right side. It's called, this place called Big River Circle. I was talking to my buddy. He said he'd been here before. He said it didn't take long. I'm about to find out. Speed warning. Here it is right here. Yeah, this is it. Have arrived at your destination on the right side, 2027, East State Highway 198. We made it. Oh, hey, I don't see a lot of trucks lined up on the damn scale. Truckers rest stop. Poor trucks, deliveries, visitors. Alloys, assets, core trucks. I guess I'll be a core truck. Yeah, I'm the core truck. <laughs> yeah, I was gotta. I ain't know if I had to cross the scale or what. I remember one time I went somewhere and had a sign that said meal trucks. I, I was like, damn. Pickup number, where you at? Two one seven three two two. Where you going? Uh, York, South Carolina. What's your name? Uh, Dion, D E O N. Melvin, M-E-L-V-I-N. 
Okay. Pretty nice lady. Saying's pretty nice. I guarantee you. First thing she gonna say. First time here. <laughs> I guarantee you she's gonna say it. I'm like, yes ma'am, first time here. Hey, y'all just heard me, y'all just heard me spell my government name out too. My, my name is not actually Flatbed Game. It's Dion Melvin. You're going to door 10. Have you ever been here before? No, ma'am. First time. All right. Over the tracks, follow the gravel road straight back. It's the last bay door and the end of the building. Y'all have one chain for every 10,000 pounds. Edge protectors in the coil of the chain. Come out. Don't go on the scale. Walk the trail. I'll walk out and check you out. All right. Straight so, back. So I go ahead. Number 10. Straight in. Yeah, yeah, you pull in. All right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Alright, alright. One chain for every 10,000 pounds. That's what she said. Hey, but hell, PNS chains, man. Our chains ain't rated. They ain't rated that, uh. They're not rated that much. These chains don't hold 10,000. Chains we got hold, uh. 4,000. I think that's what it is. Or is it 4,800? I'm not. Or 4,600. I'm not sure. I haven't used chains in so long. No, I believe it's 4,500. I think that's what it is, 45. Or maybe 4,000. But anyway, these coils I'm picking up, I believe they're uh, 2,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds a piece. So I would just use four chains. I'm pretty sure it's 4,000 pounds. But I don't know if y'all heard her say, uh, uh, gotta have edge protectors. You know how y'all do. A lot of times y'all cheat and don't use edge protectors. Yeah, she said, gotta make sure you use edge protectors. They're probably gonna be checking. I got edge protectors. Okay, I'll tell you what. Matter of fact, I just, I just thought of something. How the hell is she gonna check for edge protectors? If you're gonna talk to load before you get back to the damn scale house, how's how she gonna look? Yeah, that's something to think about. Cause we just seen the other truck come out. He he already had the tarp on. I know she ain't gonna go out there and lift the tarp up. But you know what though? We're gonna we're gonna do the right thing. That's what we gotta do. We're gonna do the right thing. We ain't gonna cheat. What kind of example would I be setting for y'all by not doing it correctly? told me to go straight back then get in line. Oh, I see door 10 over here now. Yeah, man, flatbed game, man. Hey, we, hey, we can't cut the corners. What the hell? Door 10. Three trucks over there. They're door 10. Look like one truck just chilling. But look at this paperwork when I stop. So I can see exactly how much these things weigh. Hey, guess what my bills say? It must be talked. Door 10. Got a WTI truck sitting over there. This place is huge, man. Yeah, I gotta go ahead and get the coil racks out while I'm waiting. Hey, it's a drive edge uh, trailer sitting over here. It's got uh, Allen Cannon on the side of it. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that place. I used to work there too, way back in the day. Cannon. It's vegetable plant. I should drive yard trucks out there. Matter of fact, I think the headquarters for Allen Cannon is in Arkansas. So that's probably why that truck is sitting over here. But, but uh, matter of fact, 
Alley Cannon, man, they canned vegetables there. So, of course, they would need steel to make cans. Oh, wow. Hey, that ain't rocket science. I just thought of that. Yeah, that's, uh, look like we got a blur on the right and a PNS on the left. I think that's what it is. That blur, he got a Benson trailer. PNS got a utility. I know that's a damn Blair trailer because he got a tarp box on the trailer. Hey, PNS driver, we don't we don't get that lucky. We don't get tarp boxes. Had to put my jacket on, man. It's kind of chilly out here. All right, whenever I use straps, I put these gloves on or, or tarps or whatever. And whenever I mess with them chain binders, I gotta put these on. You can't you can't twist the chain binder with these right here because they're so slippery they ain't got no grip it's just uh your hand to be moving but the damn the binder don't do nothing but these got some grip on them so these is for the uh for the binders i gotta find but i can use these right now to pull these uh coil racks out yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get these coil racks out but they uh them trucks pulling up First, I gotta find something in this box. Most most people, most people keep it uh keep it beside their bed in the nightstand beside the bed. Take these out. But me, I keep it in this box. I ain't talking about this uh, fifth wheel slider lube. Y'all might keep some of that beside the bed too. I don't wanna get messy. So we're gonna use this one. <laughs> hey, shout out everybody who got that, uh, got the lube beside the bed. They, they stuck together. It's all good. Got a trusty, trusty flathead screwdriver inside the truck. Let me go ahead and get this stuff out, man. Already took eight chains out. Just got to set this stuff up now. Guess what? I put these right here. That's the center point of my car. That's why I put it right there so I can know because I'm seeing it on top.
Y'all know why I always had that tail on the back instead of rolling it up like some drivers. It's a lot easier just throw a strap over it instead of trying to roll it up. That's really why I do it. I call it the, uh, the R. Kelly. I believe I can fly. All right, gang, we out. I'm about to go check out. That's going to be it. I got to hit the road, man. Flatbed game, man. Couldn't show y'all really too much inside that place because... I had, I had to get on the move because they got trucks coming up behind me. I had to get that shit secure to pull out. I had to pull out here and finish talking. So, hey, it is what it is, man. But I ended up using uh, two chains and two straps instead of four chains. I used two chains, two straps on them with edge protectors. Because that's some little small coils, man. So, all right, man, we're going to hit the road, man. I got about three hours on my clock. We'll see how far we can go with that. I'm out. Flatbed game.